Johnny Ramos muscle move. Yeah, and Ramos has helped because Ramos has six points in this ball game. Down now, third quarter, Alvin. Yes. That's the foul. Yeah. Johnny. Ooh. Ah, yes. Finis. Colado ng Alaska. Jolas nakawala. Good man. Press is and how to get by it. Another foul. Tatlo na si Alvin. This is not the same Pure Foods team. It's a nice pass. Ooh. Good luck, but uh, there's a foul and Cariaso lands on the floor heavily. So malubong siya sa isang 6'5 uh, na 2.30. Si Dr. Son at si Dr. Salud ng PBA, medyo concerned. Tumayo sila, pero si Cariaso bumangon na gano'n. He picks himself up. Gary getting a lot of his points from the free throw line in the first half. Johnny, be good, not quite. Oh, muntik ng aksidente. Muntik na rin at free foul si Lastimosa kung tinawagan ng referee. There is a foul. It's a blocking one. Hawkins gets his third. Still safe from uh, really getting into foul trouble. Yung apa dyan, medyo... Ayun. Hawkins is a flopper, you know, hindi ba? Okay, game four continues. 37-32, Alaska is in front. And we have an early turnover. Yes, because what happened was they got the ball back to Rosella. Tapos iniwan na nila. So Jojo double team together with Johnny and Rosella lost the ball. You've got to help your teammate, especially if he's under great pressure to put the ball up, to bring the ball up. Now you've got to help him somewhere there in the middle where you see that 1996 PBA. Doon ka dapat tumutulog. Yun ang cue mo, yun ang marka mo. Doon ka talaga dapat mag-abang ng pasa sa'yo. And you can help your team. Shot clock down to four. And Chotres is saying during halftime to the team, I don't want Abariento shooting. Let the others shoot away. What? Well, the say is get the ball out of his hands. Alaska did not let him carry the ball, and he just kept on moving to an area where he got a good shot. Exactly. Samantala si Ray Bangilista na buhol. And there's a foul. Joel has was hoping for a jump ball ball, but it's a foul. It will stick. That's number four. Number four na yun. Malaking bagay yun. Uh, Jojo putting a lot of pressure on Evangelista, who still is not 100%. It's very, very obvious. He played only four minutes in the first quarter. Viral first flu kasi yun sa kanya eh. Uh -huh. yeah. Might be that easy to go away. Ayaw balis eh. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, no movement. Very poor movement on the part of the hot dogs. Pinipit na sila eh. Ang epekto niyan, parang nade-drain ka eh, kay Ray Evangelista. Samantala, rebound play. Evangelista no gets one to crawl in. Yung importanting offensive rebound yun, no partner. At saka kahit pa paano, they get something from Ray Evangelista. Yeah. That's very welcome. This third quarter is down to 10 minutes and 23. Narito si Lastimosa. Huwinyo sabi, libre ba ako? Hindi. Bigyan natin kay Jolas. Pick and roll. It's in... Progress, Guinho says, Johnny, help me, help me. No success, Guinho, and Hawkins were grappling for it. And it will stay with Alaska. Well, dapat magpakilala, sinasabi natin yung dalawang magkakampi because if one of them had allowed the other to pick up the ball, they would have had an easy follow-up. Exactamento. 39-34 ang ating count. Lima ang lamang ng Alaska, pinakamalaki sa 13. Na-establish yan ng 25-12 nung second quarter natin. Libre si Hawkins. Yes! Ooh. Yun yung walang aling! Maganda jump shot yun. No way you can defend. Dahil sumasag ng konti si Jerry and Hawkins just beat him with the blink of an eye. Si Hawkins, ang total, uh, total contribution niya, 13 puntos dito sa game na ito. 41-34 ang ating count. Samantala, bumaba ang bola kay Rasela. Work right. Johnny in defense a little bit by posting him up. Nilabas ang bola kay Glenn Capasio. Lumundag si Cariaso. Capasio, one-handed running shot. Nagkakaroon kayo ng ibang play, you know, because of the post-up play of the point guard against the smaller Johnny Abarientos. Force double team, bumalik kay Capasio. Easy jump shot for him. 
Si Glenn ay meron ng contribution of 4 points para sa kapakanan ng Pure Food Standard Juicy Hot Dogs. 9 minutes po ang nalalabi rito sa ating third quarter. Paul si Ray Evangelista. Masyado siyang dikit kay Giorgio Lastimosa. Pangatlong foul ni Evangelista yan, mga kapabayan. Well, you're saying the right thing because he sticks so close to him. Jojo is going to drive against him. Jojo oh. will not shoot the jump shot because Ray will be right in his face. Exactly, exactly. Oh, say it in the defense yan si Ray Evangelista. Si Winyo, bumapakap, backpedal kay Patrimonio. And Winyo drilling it against the captain. That's a nice power play for Winyo. Back to a seven-point lead for Alaska. Something you should harness uh, even more, ano, huh? But Alvin Patrimonio has only hit the jump shot. Again, he loses his timing, no? Dahil, uh, yan ang problema na hindi na nakapag-insayo. Lastimosa, bank shot, malakas. Rayman, nasungkit ni Alvin. Eight minutes, 27. Pito ang lamang ng Alaska Mills. Samantala, binabagalan ng bahagya ni Rasela ang atake. They have that pose of play. Olsen, yes. bingo! They've hit from the left side of the court. No? Both on plays of low post. Dahil siyempre may konting advantage si Ray kay Jojo. Double team, balik ulit yung bola. Hindi ba? So ayun, nabigyan ni Rasela pag pure foods ng pagkakataon. Lumapit. Eight minutes na lang ang remaining dito. Lima ang lamang ng Alaska Mill. Nasa gitna si Winyo. Sabi ni Rasela, bam to me. Anong problema ni Johnny Abarendos kaya? Johnny was looking for hacking yung hinahawakan siya ni uh, Rasela pag gumagalaw siya. Patrimonio is taken out early in this ball at the third quarter. In comes Edmond Reyes. No? Nakita mo wala pa yung timing ni Alvin. Eh. Si Jolas medyo malamig. Eh, lamang naman sila doon sa inbound and they got it. I would, I'm glad that I, for them, I would be happy that there was a jump ball. Dahil ang al laki ng lamang mo and the shot clock is down to only five. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Para bang blessing na yun eh. Yeah. Johnny. Ooh. Ah, yes! Bilis. Kitlat. Bilis pitik. <laughs> 45, 38, pito. Para sa Alaska. Yan ang lamang nila. Si Johnny ang leading scorer para sa Alaska Milk. Ang kanyang contribution ay 14 points dito hanggang dito sa third quarter. 10 seconds to shoot. Pinaalala sa atin ng Barker. Si Vincent Price, ang ating magiting na policy yung announcer. Samantala, Rasela, hindi makawala. Kaya Barrientos, ang pasa na tapik. Kontrolado ng Alaska. Jolas, nakawala. Goodbye! Sabi ni Chotres, come, come, come. Let us reason together. Let us talk this over in this timeout. Welcome back to game number four. Alaska continues to lead the series two games to one. Seven minutes and ten seconds remaining here in the third. Alam na ni Rasela na hindi niya pwedeng uh, itala yung bola ron dahil matadobol trip na naman siya ni Jojo. No? Like what happened to him at the start of this quarter. So they're going to try a different route. Narito si Rasela. Trying to break loose. Shot clock reduced to four seconds. Alam ba ni Captain yan? I don't think so. And that's a good clock. 24 second shot clock violation. See, oh, no attempt, nothing. Nothing. Ang problema is Rasela takes too long to bring up the ball. Eh hindi tinutulungan siya ng kanyang mga teammate in helping him bring up the ball, you know. So, under pressure to mira si Kapitan, lang ka inabot niya kay Hawkins. Okay, good point. On the other hand, Johnny breaks that so easily. Four seconds, he's already across the line. Oh, parang bang yung kay Rasela ang tagal ng pasakalye. Samantala, bumagsak sa floor si Johnny. Edmund Reyes, ang guilty party. Si Reyes, guilty of his first personal foul. Si Ibang Hilista, ibababa muna ni Chot Reyes. Balik si Ravena. Si Ibang Hilista, yung nakakontribute ng two points sa kanyang maikling stint on the floor. Uh, he's not in shape, that's all. That's yes. very clear. No? That there's still the effects. That's going to be offensive foul. Good call by the referee. Kitang-kita naman. Uh, he warded off to try to get into position. The worry of Tim Kohn in the XN is that Carriazo did not follow into the play. Yep. He didn't follow. But you know, 
Hindi naman kasi robot yan. Nakita mo minsan oh, na oh, oh. lusot na yung kakampi mo. Alangan naman oh, samahan mo pa yun para gumawa ka pa, para maging mag, mag, masikip. No? Ang yes, yeah. oh, correct naman. Tama rin naman. Doon is carter rin ang sarili. Di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Kasi eh, kung pumasok yun, di, at least or kung oh, rebound na, nakadepensa na yung isa. Ang sarap sa basketball, ang daming posibilidad. Eh. 6-16 ang uh, ating natitirang oras. Samantala, Pure Foods. Wala na naman ang bola. Yep. They're just not taking care of the ball. You don't take care of the ball. You have no chance to score. You cannot score without the ball. Sabi nga ni Barkley. <laughs> Di ba sa rebounding, tinuturoan ni Barkley. You can't win a ball game without the ball. Abariantos. Alam mo to si Johnny Abariantos, Dr. J. Parang yung matay na si Leonard Bernstein. Conductor. Conductor. Gumawa ng uh, West Side Story. Basta kumpas lang siya ng kumpas. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang musika ng Alaska. Advantage niya is a great ball hander and that just doesn't seem to be anybody who can match him. You know, if you get somebody who can steal the ball a couple of times away from him, magigibang story. Hawkins. 14 points. By the way, earlier tonight in our PBA College Invitational Tournament, LaSalle won against UST 79-77 to to go home with the trophy. Again, masterfully crafted by our friends at Angel Zamora and Sons. Well, a chance uh, for LaSalle to get something back at UST, although it's not the UAP diadem. Yun ang big uh, plum, no, huh? Samantala, Abargientos. Ravenna trying to keep in step. Johnny says, this is the way I go to work, but does not convert the shot. It's a nice pass. Ooh, good luck. But uh, there's a foul, and Cariaso lands on the floor heavily. So, malubong siya sa isang 6'5 uh, na 230. <laughs> si Dr. Son at saka si Dr. Salud ng PPA, medyo concerned, tumayo sila, pero si Cariaso, bumangon na agad, Dr. J. He picks Jay. himself up. Gary, getting a lot of his points from the free throw line in the first half. Gary actually is keeping them in the ball game with the silence of Patrimonio offensively, no? Kahit si Cordinera, mainit ng second quarter with a chip-in total of 8 points. He now has a total of 12. The lead has been cut down to 8 with 5 and a half minutes remaining. We are in number 3, the quarter, the third. Well, Pure Foods is just hanging around, hanging around in Alaska. It's actually allowing them to hang around and hang around. <laughs> Stand by me. Johnny, be good. Not quite. Oh, muntik ng aksidente. Muntik na rin at fifth foul si Lastimosa kung tinawagan ng referee. There is a foul. It's a blocking one. Hawkins gets his third. Still safe from uh, really getting into foul trouble. Kung apat yan, medyo... Ayun. Hawkins is a flopper, you know. Diba? That's the term uh, that they uh, use. Yung trying to always get the referee to give them the offensive foul. So, you know, Santos is not going to be able to push him down the floor. <laughs> I don't like floppers. Good, Good call. Naipit, naipit si Good call. Yeah. No place to go. Can't get that uh, feet movement of for him. Ganda ng pagka double team dito. Bagay, kay Johnny yata sila magja-jump. Eh? An excellent shot from our top view camera. Hindi pa rin makakuha ng uh, in ba, jump ball ang Pure Foods even though they had the advantage just, just how good Alaska is at controlling the jump. 48-40. Lamang ang Alaska ng 8 4 minutes and 40 remaining. Hawkins, kamala. Malakas eh. Ravenna, siya na ang nagbaba. Pinihingi ni Jerry. Si Jerry. Still at the baseline outside to Santos. Traveling. Good call. Yes. Hindi pwede pasahan ni Jerry ng ganyan si Santos. Hindi marunong ng ganun yan eh. Unless you give him an exact pass. But that was not a good pass at all. Nauna yung tugtog sa sayaw. Yep. Yun. He's not that kind of a player. Si Jerry yan. Si Gad. Si Johnny. Si Johnny. Cut lip. Cut lip. 
little bleeding there. Yung sa boxing yan eh, the seconds are now attending to uh, Johnny Abariantos. By the way, si Mr. Ronnie may binabanggit na boxing sa akin. Makuha nga natin yung plug ngayon mamaya. At, uh, yung ating regular program ng Blow by Blow, lumalabas din dito sa IBC Tepe, sa BTV. Yep. It's another one of the uh, more popular sports of our country. May timeout ba, Dr. J? Meron. Okay, Alaska. Rayo titumba ka ng Alaska, Dr. J. Ito yung sumasayo siya nung uh, halftime, nung break natin. Tapos sa kalay mo, kumuha ng tuwalya. Eh, gusto kong uh, pinawisan niya tabi, kala gusto yata maging player. Eh. Sinigawan ko, sabi ko, hindi pinapawisan ng bake. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> 48-40, yan ang uh, isa sa mga sidelights na nagaganap. At uh, yun sinasabi mo, Dr. J, come and watch us live. O yan sa minsan. Kamatala, si Retrie Bartolome sabi, oh, holding. Oh, holding foul ang Bong Rabena against Jojo. That's four, number four now on him. He's in the same boat as uh, Jojo Lastimosa who also has four personal fouls. Kung bibilangin natin ang team fouls, ang hot dogs ay may apat, Alaska, patlo. Four minutes remaining in this, the third quarter. Nasabay pala si Dito at si Rasela, both on the, at the same time. Yes, uh, Chotres has tried that duo at least uh, twice in this ball game, and the ball is batted away. Seven seconds remaining on the shot clock. That's good anticipation by Dindo Pumaran of that back pass. He was able to prevent an easy layup. Quick release. Patay. Yes. That's it. Patay. Makikita mo yon yung kanta ng pag-execution ng inbound play. And that's the best shot you can give Jojo. High percentage, actually. Tignan mo yung mga turnovers. Ang pure puts naman ang dumami na naman dito sa odd, odd quarter. 17 to 11 total. May ang Alaska only one, so they have a 10-point lead. Yung conversion of the inbound with time pressure, dalawang beses na ginagawa ng Alaska yun dito sa game na ito. Yep. Yung kay Hawkins kanina. And that shot of Pumarin is way off. Wala na talaga shooters ang uh, pure foods eh, no? Parang yeah. yung uh -oh. last game, marami nagsasabi na, uh, nagsasabi na natapat lang talaga ang shooting nila. Pero ngayon, wala na naman yung shooting nila sa labas. As you have a loose ball foul. Sayang yung reverse layup ni Quinio. Shuffle and shuffle si Chot Reyes, oh. looking for the the offensive player that can help him because he cannot find anybody to do that. You know, the player that will give them a wake-up call. Yeah, walang, walang player. Also, ordinarily, nandiyan si Captain, pero si Cap is just not, you know, his usual oh. self. Correct. And you cannot Indeed. blame him. Correct. Jeffrey Carriasso with a personal, of course, as you have been following the series, Alvin Patrimonio bothered by a strained ligament, a tear, uh, and has not really been all that effective. You see Patrimonio in this game, two points. Two points. That was a jump shot early. But has already plucked six rebounds. Meanwhile, here comes Rosella. Quick release. That won't work. Rebound pinaglalabanan. Good, excellent boxing out by Alaska every so often. And again, they're challenging Pure Foods to beat them from the outside. It's not happening. That's an easy layup. Down, up to a 12-point lead right now. Your the, master fully crafted, yun, eh? Yes, designed and directed <laughs> by. Tignan <laughs> Pure Foods has only 40 points with 2 minutes and 11 seconds left in the third quarter. Mean, Jerry going on the inside, cannot score on the inside. Meaning to say, Alaska or the TJ Hot Dogs have been limited to just 8 points in, in this, this quarter. Yes. Medyo maangal si Capacio. <laughs> Those are sign languages that you probably know what he's saying. Nagugulangan lang tayo. Sabi ng banda ng Alaska, cool ka lang. Ah, meron palang banda dahil kanina wala akong naririnig eh. Sabi ko nga, wala na yata silang banda ngayon. Meron na ayun, ayun, sa taas. Sa kita natin. Ang banda natinig natin kanina, yung banda ng UST. Ganun ba? Tropang Las Piñas, Alaska. Meron pa doon dyan. Oh, well, here, there, and everywhere. A minute and 55 po ang remaining sa ating third quarter. Alaska. In control, in charge. 
managing it well. Jolas pulling the trigger. Loose ball foul underneath. Hawkins. And they are in the penalty situation. Apat na rin si Hawkins. Malasa rin ang lineup si Tim Cohn, ano? Team foul situation. Alaska has a penalty. Hot dogs with five. Well, most of the veterans are doing the complaining about the fouls called against them. Kanina, Dr. J, nung magbukas tayo, sabi natin, napakasimple, no? Hindi nagawa ng Alaska ang gusto nilang gawin sa third game. And in this one, nagagawa nila yung gusto nilang gawin. Kung ano yung tugtog na gusto nila, yun ang nangyayari. Because they've shut down Pure Foods on the offense. Nahirapan na, nahirapan na ni-score ang Pure Foods. And the hot dogs are really just wilting under the pressure. Unless they find somebody to come up and give them a big uh, spark, may hirapan itong mga iba sumama. Alam mo, mga, kung ang veterano hindi lalaro ng maganda, imposibleng sumama na mabuti itong mga, mga baguhan eh. But if uh, one guy, if the veterans are playing well, everybody on the team seems to be infected with it. 52-41, 11-point lead. 1.41 left in the third quarter. Only the ninth point scored by Pure Foods in this third quarter. Johnny Ramos. Muscle move! Yeah, and Ramos has helped because Ramos has six points in this ball game. Has a three-point play coming up plus a foul from Alvin Patrimonio. They have a very, very small team on the floor right now while Alaska has a very big and muscular team, especially in the forward lineup. Si Patrimonio, yung guilty of his second foul. Nakita mo yung reaction ni Bulado? Oh. Para yeah. Sa, si Conan, the barbarian. <laughs> okay, red sword niya ako. 14-point <laughs> lead. That's the biggest of the ball game being enjoyed by Alaska. Only a minute and 21. Let's see if Alvin forces the issue. He does. Just one uh, most valuable player of the conference. You gotta prove it. Ooh. Yan ang galing ni Johnny Jan. In cross court, ano? Yeah, and they always have a good receiver. They know exactly where they're gonna be. That guy usually is a guy who knows how to dribble. From an announcing perspective, you could easily say dangerous pass, eh, no? Pero pag si Johnny ang bumitaw, no? Parang may tatanggap on the other end. Hindi, kasi basa ng Alaska. They know exactly uh, where the press is and how to get by it. Another foul. Patlo na si Alvin. This is not the same Pure Foods team that pulverized Alaska just Tuesday night. The final score in game number three was 99-87. Well, maybe you can go the other way around. This is not the same Alaska team that Pure Foods pulverized the other day. Or They're playing a completely different type of ball game. Their owner, Mr. Wilfred Stephen Oitangsu, looking for his first All-Filipino Championship. Yes, and indeed. very, very close to it. Now, if things go the way, they're going. Pure Foods is a hurt team. Wala si Ipang Elista, Alvin is hurt. I mean, that's, that's a crippled team right there. Lamang na lamang talaga sila ngayon. Ewan ko kung bakit ibang tao nag-iisip na hindi siya lamang. But they are really an advantage because of the injuries to the hot dogs lineup. Kaya napakakipan ng mga players na may mga injuries. Ito kumarin has a groin injury and has not really healed. At nabanggit mo yung championship na gusto maiuwi ng uh, Alaska. Alaska. Dahil ang kanilang two previous championships, all in a third conference, yung 1991 at saka yung last year, lahat may Sean Chambers yun eh. Meron pa yata silang isa, di ba? Ilan ba championships ng Alaska? Di ba, tatlo na? Dalawa I, I know, they always, they've always, uh, yun ang championships. Third. Kaya tama yung sinasabi uh, mo, parating na sa kay Sean Chambers. Yun, Kaya resident import nga siya doon sa conference na basta't may maliit. Oo, master nila yun. Inside! That's another foul by Alvin reaching in. Kaya mo si Bulato, tinank na naman. Walang sentro ang Pure Foods. And Alvin has committed three straight fouls in this space of about a minute and a half. Exactly. Wala kasing taban si De La Rosa doon sa lineup na yun eh. Pure Foots is trying to press, but they don't have a center to block the shots. And somehow, because of the lead of the other side, bumibigat ang mga balikat din nila, eh, no? Kahit na paano, eh. Kandala din ang laro ng Ramos in this game. Offensively. Pahinga konti si Jojo. 
galing ng pagdadala ni Tim ko nung malalaking tao niya dito sa series, uh, series na ito. I think that's why he drafted Alaska, uh, Kevin Romas, no? to have that extra body to bang on the inside and create that space for his uh, players. Si Ramas, nine points sa ball game na to. Yeah, it's big. Big. Winding down now, third quarter, Alvin. Yes! That's the foul. I mean, I don't think Ramas can guard Alvin naman on the other end. No? If Vito gets him the ball quickly, he's going to score also. Yeah, this is not an easy move, especially for a guy who's supposed to be hurt. <laughs> Ramas guilty of his third personal foul. Oh, I mean, it just shows how much you can withstand pain and what kind of a player you are. Diba? Now, Alvin is trying to put some spark there, but in the meantime, they've got to make a stop on the other end uh, because Alaska's been scoring some easy baskets. And yung foot race na may hari ng 100 meter dash. Eh, tapos si Johnny. <laughs> Johnny may power break sa kanya pa. Pa-pa-pa-pa-pa. <laughs> Bigla po minto eh. Jeffrey, zigzagging to traffic. Ayaw po. Rebound. The captain, triple team. Of course. But what an effort by Alvin. Yeah. 59-48 after 36 minutes. 12 more coming up.